Welcome everyone. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use the checkout action from GitHub Actions. Then we will test it and take a look at the parameters which you can use to configure this action. So without further ado, let's head over to our VS Code. Here we have a very simple GitHub Actions workflow from the last video where we are running an echo command. So now the question is that why do we need to check out here? So let's say that um, in our repository we have many files and for example we want to read this readme file inside the action we wanted to process that file so can we do it let's try it out so let's see if we can actually see this readme file inside of github actions so we can ls and here we can just run the simple ls command and now if i commit and push this so something like this and then head over to github actions and here you can see that it, it's currently running and the ls output is it ran ls but there is no output so that means that currently there are no files on the github actions and the reason is that by default github actions does not check out your repository so if you have to do it we have to create a new step we have to call it checkout code and then here we can run a command like git clone for example my repo name or something like this but the problem with this approach is that we would need to know the full name basically from our github repository this ssh url and we might also need the commit id and maybe even the github actions authentication token so this would be actually a very complex way to do it but there is a much simpler and cleaner way of doing it and that is that if we go here to the github actions marketplace and search here checkout here you will find that there is already a github actions checkout action and this action is exactly what we need it lets us clone the repository without any complications like the manual cloning so all we have to do is just copy this one simple line of code and come back to our our workflow and then instead of run we will be saying it uses checkout action and that's basically it with just this one line of code now github actions will automatically check out our repository and we can confirm this by making another small step after checkout we can call it ls output after checkout and here then do the same thing as here so we can call this one ls output before checkout and ls output after checkout now let's try it out so let's commit and push and head over to our repository to see this action in action and if we come here to our first job now we can see ls output before checkout it's there is nothing but ls output after checkout this shows us the readme file so that looks great right github is able to check out our repository but you must be wondering how did github know which repository to check out and that we can see here in the documentation that github uses this variable github.repository and by default the value of this repository is set to our repository but if we want to change it all we have to do is that inside of the action we have to use a with keyword and then provide the repository something like this and this action has a lot of other parameters for example the reference which is the branch and many other parameters which you can use to customize the checkout action but as you saw that it's actually if you just want to check out your repository it's actually just one line of code all you need to do is just add this line of code in the checkout step and that is why github actions is so simple and powerful at the same time i hope this video was helpful please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and i will see you in the next video